Dan, you bought Sham Express, the New Zealand bred O'Reilly cult over here for Ascot. Uh, how did you find the horse in the first place? Uh, I found him at uh, the Caracas sale, uh, the, the K1 sale. You know, he was a lovely O'Reilly cult uh, out of a Volkshrad mare. Got, you know, obviously two dominant New Zealand sidelines there and very athletic and handsome sort of cult. So uh, with uh, the success we've had with O'Reilly, it wasn't hard for me to like him. He was a reasonable sort of price too. Uh, yeah, he was 120000 Yeah, The horses in New Zealand generally pretty reasonably priced. Um, and O'Reilly, for all his success, they, they still seem pretty viable. Yeah, we, we bought Shamrocker for 60000 and she won a couple of million, a couple of Group 1s, and, and this guy, 120, he's, he's already a Group 1 winner and closing in on a million himself. Danny, Sham Express in the, uh, in the King stand over the 1,000 on Tuesday. You've cast your eye over him this morning. How's he looked to you? Looks terrific. No, he's really um, travelled well and he's settled in well and he looks a really happy horse. Coming off a, a great win in the new market and a similar prep to Star Witness, that uh, all bodes well for him. Yeah, look, we, we after the new market really set our sights on Ascot and hence gave him a break and brought him back up for this and uh, you know he'd be fresh going into it, but he's you know he's in really good shape. That last jump out he had before he left, uh, that formula looks pretty good now with Linton coming out and winning the straight break as well. It did. No, look, they both trialled really well that that day and uh, no, it was nice to see that uh, Linton backed up the trial by winning the straight break. So. Uh, Hopefully we can do the same. Your third trip now over here, you'll probably gloom a bit more every time you come over. Have you prepared similar to what you have in the past? Yeah, we've done it fairly much the same as what we did with Star Witness. You know, he ran in the new market then uh, had the break between runs. Um, same sort of thing, the horse is coming here with um, the King Stand as his objective and uh, you know, everything's gone smoothly. Is it a bit of unfinished business for you, having been here before? Look. Last time we came and ran really well, uh, yeah, ran second and then third in the Jubilee, but uh, yeah, nothing beats winning, so we're certainly uh, really focused on trying to uh, go one better this time. Craig on board, and he's had the experience here before, that's got to be a plus? Yes, no, he, he's obviously had the win in the King stand on Miss Andretti, so uh, we'd be really keen to see him win again. Been a lot of talk over the last couple of days about the ground here being very fast, is that what you'd like to see come race day? Oh, look, obviously our horses don't uh, have any problems with firm, fast ground. You know, we, we've uh, born and raised on it in Australia and uh, I don't think you know, the ground, whatever it is, it'll be nice and safe, so if it's firm it won't really worry us. Will you take him down there for an acclimatisation and look around before the races? or No, he'll just turn up there on Tuesday. And what about the draw? Come uh, barrier draw, what's, what, what sort uh, of side are you looking for? Look, again, I, I, it'll just... Any straight race, sometimes it can be a bit of a, a, an advantage inside or out, but uh, it'd be... A long way out for me to be telling you where that's going to be. Um, as long as our bloke's in amongst them and, and gets his chance, I'll, I'll be happy. Had a chance to have a look at the rest of the field there and who do you see as your, your biggest dangers? Uh, look, I don't know a lot about the European form. I've uh, got a bit of a handle on the South African, obviously, winning in Dubai, Shay Shay. So, yeah, he's the ruling favourite and uh, probably deservedly so. You've probably got no pressure as in years gone by to get back. There's no breeding bone beckoning for this guy at the moment. So what would the plan be if he comes through OK? Look, we're pretty keen to stay here and uh, run in the July Cup in, in a few weeks after Ascot. So, uh, the, yeah, the immediate plan is, is King Stan and then July Cup. And between now and race day, just a bit of cantering or what, anything planned for him? He's going to have a, a gallop here uh, tomorrow, Friday. Uh, that'll be the only real gallop he has before the race. Um, but, you know, the way he looks this morning, he, he's ready to have one.